The Aq Kwayunlu or Ak Koyunlu, also called the White Sheep Turkomans Persian, Ak Kwine Ak Kuyunlu, Turkish, Ak Koyunlu, was a Persianate Sunni Oghuz Turkic tribal confederation that ruled present-day Armenia, Azerbaijan, eastern Turkey, most part of Iran, and Iraq from 1378 to 1501. History According to chronicles from the Byzantine Empire, the Aq Kwayunlu are first attested in the district of Babert south of the Pontic Mountains from at least the 1340s, and most of their leaders, including the dynasty's founder, Kara Osman, married Byzantine princesses. The Aq Kwayunlu Turkomans first acquired land in 1402, when Timur granted them all of Diyar Bakr in present day Turkey. For a long time, the Aq Kwayunlu were unable to expand their territory, as the rival Kara Koyunlu or Black Sheep Turkomans kept them at bay. However, this changed with the rule of Uzun Hasan, who defeated the Black Sheep Turkoman leader Jahan Shah in 1467. After the defeat of a Timurid leader, Abu Sa'id, Uzun Hasan was able to take Baghdad along with territories around the Persian Gulf. He expanded into Iran as far east as Khorasan. However, around this time, the Ottoman Empire sought to expand eastwards, a serious threat that forced the Aq Kwayunlu into an alliance with the Karamanids of central Anatolia. As early as 1464, Uzun Hasan had requested military aid from one of the Ottoman Empire's strongest enemies, Venice. Despite Venetian promises, this aid never arrived and, as a result, Uzun Hasan was defeated by the Ottomans at the Battle of Atlukbeli in 1473, though this did not destroy the Aq Kwayunlu. When Uzun Hasan died early in 1478, he was succeeded by his son Khalil Mirza, but the latter was defeated by a confederation under his younger brother Jacob at the Battle of Khoi in July. Jacob, who reigned from 1478 to 1490, sustained the dynasty for a while longer. However, during the first four years of his reign, there were seven pretenders to the throne who had to be put down. Following Yakub's death, civil war again erupted, the Aq Kwayunlis destroyed themselves from within, and they ceased to be a threat to their neighbors. The early Safavids, who were followers of the Safavia religious order, began to undermine the allegiance of the Aq Kwayunlu. The Safavids and the Aq Kwayunlu met in battle in the city of Nakhchivan in 1501 and the Safavid leader Ismail I forced the Aq Kwayunlu to withdraw. In his retreat from the Safavids, the Aq Kwayunlu leader Alwan destroyed an autonomous state of the Aq Kwayunlu in Mardin. The last Aq Kwayunlu leader, Murad, brother of Alwan, was also defeated by the same Safavid leader. Though Murad briefly established himself in Baghdad in 1501, he soon withdrew back to Diyar Bakr, signaling the end of the Aq Kwayunlu rule. Governance The leaders of Aq Kwayunlu were from the Begunder or Bayunder clan of the Oghuz Turks and were considered descendants of the semi-mythical founding father of the Oghuz, Oghuz Khan. The Bayandors behaved like statesmen rather than warlords and gained the support of the merchant and feudal classes of Transcaucasia present-day Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Georgia. With the conquest of Iran, not only did the Aq Kwayunlu center of power shift eastward, but Iranian influences were soon brought to bear on their method of government and their culture. In the Iranian provinces Uzun Hasan maintained the pre-existing administrative system along with its officials, whose families had in some cases served under different dynasties for several generations. There were only four top civil posts, all held by Iranians, in Uzun Hasan's time, those of the vizier, who headed the Great Council Divan, the Mostafi al-Mamalek, who was in charge of the financial administration, the mortar, who affixed the state seal, and the mariker, stable master who looked after the royal court, in letters from the Ottoman sultans, when addressing the kings of Aq Kwayunlu, such titles as Arabic, Milk al-Mlaukalarinat, King of Iranian Kings, Arabic, Sultan al Slatanilarinat, Sultan of Iranian Sultans, Persian, Shansha Iran Kadiv James Shahansha e Iran Kadiv e Ajam, Shahansha of Iran and ruler of Persia, Jamshid Shakat va Faradan Rayat va Dara Darayat. Powerful like Jamshid, flag of Faradun and wise like Darius, have been used. Uzun Hasan also held the title Padisha i Iran, Padisha of Iran, which was re adopted again in the Safavid times through his distaff grandson Ismail I, founder of the Safavid Empire. <laughs> Topic. 
AQ Kwayunlu Ahmed Bey Amidst the struggle for power between Uzun Hasan's grandsons Baysungor son of Yaqub, and Rustam son of Maxid, their cousin Ahmed Bey appeared on the stage. Ahmed Bey was the son of Uzun Hasan's eldest son Ugurlu Muhammad, who, in 1475, escaped to the Ottoman Empire, where the Sultan, Mehmed the Conqueror, received Ugurlu Muhammad with kindness and gave him his daughter in marriage, of whom Ahmed Bey was born, according to Hassan Rumluz Hassan al Tavariq. In 1496 7, Hassan Ali Tarkhani went to the Ottoman Empire to tell Sultan Bayezid II that Azerbaijan and Persian Iraq were defenseless and suggested that Ahmed Bey, heir to that kingdom, should be sent there with Ottoman troops. Bayezid agreed to this idea, and by May 1497 Ahmad Bey faced Rustam near Araxes and defeated him. See also List of rulers of Aq Kwayunlu Turkmen invasions of Georgia Diyarbakriya, the most important primary source about the dynasty equals equals notes <laughs>